Ibe babe. Ibe babe. The inside. Let's Ibe babe. Uh, babe. That, that's one part of Nika David. Oh, okay. Nika David. Ibe babe. <laughs> uh, le let me tell you uh, a lot of things I find very... I am tempted, I'll tell you the truth, to climb up this ceiling and find out which of this creek up here work because I love everything I'm saying. That is it. What can I do to oil some of them so they can move fast? So the light will come out like that. And so we'll plan on everything, we break everything down, pull it back up. Is that Yenka Davis? That is the fun. That is for me, I'm seeing things I haven't seen in God knows. I like I was here when Saturday Night Live, that was about so many years ago, near 2021, I was here. My God, NTA is still here. Okay, fine. What can we do? Do you, you know, see? People have different perception of you. Yes. But what is your own perception of yourself? Hmm. Seeing God smile every day, the most important thing for me. He has to smile. If everything I do on a daily basis, every second, is not making God smile, then it's not worth it. That is my perception of myself. It has to gel with God, or else forget it. When I found out that life must count for something, I have to now decide what, it, what does it count for. The most difficult thing in life is being truthful, being loyal, being faithful, being honest. Those are very difficult things. Yeah, okay. Let's see how far we go, Sha. Can we be truthful? I can't lie. A lot of us are not faithful. Can we be truthful? Very true. A lot of us are not truthful. All of us will look for who to pinch, to choke, to poke. Uh -huh. And that is going to take you forever and a day to get to the next level. Fine. Let us continue. It's a good journey. We'll all meet at the end of the street, the field, uh, whichever way. Have you ever been in love? Ah! Plenty times! Where are you there, sis? Okay, well, that's true. This, yeah, love is, you know, <laughs> love is... In, you fall in love, you fall out of love, you can see a naked man are staring at him, like, okay, this thing is looking good, the legs are fine, you get biceps, you get six pack. Where is he leading? So moving forward now, you know, you're not, you're, you're getting younger. You know, I sorry, like ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're doing karako here. You're getting younger. And yes, the kids will go, you know, they'll have their own lives. What would keep you going, apart from the music? I know music is always a standby. Companionship, don't you seek for it, don't you? Maybe that's one of the reasons why a lot of us don't... Uh, I, I'm thinking, I've been thinking about it so much, uh, how to approach the matter. You're complete. Your completion is not based on a man. It's based on who you serve. I serve God, and I'm complete in him only. That's all. Can you share something with me that you have never, ever told anybody? Just, just shock me, surprise me. Mm. Mm. I think... Um, mm. When I learned that there was no need to do anything to get high, I'm already high on life. When I found out I didn't need to get some sort of stimulation, so many years ago, before my sons were born. Ah, so I can actually be. And even when my sons were born, it was as though I was, I was already, I didn't need all sorts of, you know, extraterrestrials to get me high. So I can be, I'm not, I don't want to use the word celibacy. You don't need it. You are complete in Christ Jesus. It's a training. It will take a long time but it is necessary, your heart, to actually align with the word, then... Everything else. Will happen eventually. 
that's the that's the part that people don't ask. So now that you've asked, I will tell you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've said it. What's your dream? What's your greatest dream that has that is yet to be achieved? Oh, there are plenty. That one, I'm not. Uh, I'm not worried about it at all. I'm compl I'm so happy. I don't. There's no need to. What worry is that about thing? You know that that dream. That thing that it's solely personal, solely um, customized for you, David. Sincerely, one thing I really want to see is the completion of Nigeria as a whole. I went to Afugiri with my walking stick, St. Williams Grammar School, Afugiri. Left that place to go to Onhafia to go and do burial for my friend, Albert Kalu's mother that died. I went to Onhafia, walking stick. I just got up from where? From plaster that time. That was about 20 something years now. And I went all the way to the east. I carried 7,000 naira in my bag, in a, in a rucksack, with stick on my, and I was strolling in the east. And I was living large. And you expect me not to look for Nigeria again. I need her back. I need her awake. I need her strong. I don't need to say, I, I, don't, want, I don't want to say I, I go to a place and I cannot be complete or free. I must say this is my country and be bold. Strolling down memory lane again, you know the accident, it was everywhere and everything. You as a person, what did it teach you? To be sensitive and to be patient. <laughs> I had to be learn to be patient. And I had to learn to sit my butt down. That was, that's what I'm telling you. It's so easy to be lost now. But to sit down like this, one hour, is a lot of sacrifice. Now I can sit like this for one whole day. That is a lot of sacrifice. You have to find what makes you happy. When you find it, Nigeria makes me happy. She will not break, whether they like it or not. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so what do you want to remember for? I'm already remembered, you see? You remember me now, so there's nothing. Whatever happens, happens. I'm grateful. Yeah, you I'm have you have you have done so much already in the music industry. Even though you, you know when you were saying you you had you released two albums, you know the way you said it, and I'm like, one album that stays in the minds of people is way better than a million albums that just flip. They just exactly. flip. You know, it's like a flip of pages. You just flip it and it's gone. That's right. Do you I've, understand? I've, I've worked with various artists though. All right, um, but I'm grateful. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting to see a great, great change, a great, a new Nigeria. I need to be here, and I'm grateful I get a chance to see it. Would you like to go into politics anytime? Politics? Well, one thing for sure, I'm not one of those educated uh, people, so they can't give me anything by uh, Kiniko. They can't give me by appointment or by say okay they give us something when i know say i don't go to school so you know me it's not like a problem but i'm in nigeria and that's the first thing that's the only right i have in this country you know go school but you can speak very good english oh man when they taught did, didn't they teach you cursive in class did they teach you cursive where did you learn that one from now? cursive mm -hmm. primary school mm -hmm. after then uncle you need to go to secondary grandpa school. and grand grandpa you didn't go to secondary school I did, that's right, uh -huh. when the school was still good. But uh -huh. even by that time, they said our school was not good enough. Mm -hmm. That's our own fathers are telling us that our school was not good when our own school was fantastic. So when did you decide to say our best school, you can pack, pack somewhere? Oh, <laughs> I was too lost in theater. I couldn't think clearly. Mm. That was 86. Would you like to go back to school? I mean... I told my sons that I would go back to school when they're about to finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they will be happy. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> when they one just finish now. One, no, no, they're about one, to finish. And then the first one. Uh, well, no, no, no. When they're about to finish, they are both at par. At uh, you know, my firstborn is like me. You know, very playful. So mm. he keeps going back, and so he's gone to Benin Republic now. So, so I'm very sure his brother will, God forbid, him catching him up. Maybe we'll just be a year away from him. So by the time this one is in the third year, then I now decide. Okay, can I do online school for what exactly? Open university. <laughs> I'm trying to read. See, I've learned to sit down. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the first very heavy sacrifice. I've learned to sit down. Now I have to learn to carry the book to read it. That's another sacrifice. 
soon to come. Watch out for part two. Grab your copy. Mm. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you <were. laughs> Oh my god, this is stage drama. I tell you. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I tell you. Oh no, Nigeria is a, oh I, I, I love this country mm. to pieces. And mm. I bless God for the grace to be part of it. So for me to be here. I'm, I love this place. I love this place. I love her. I, well, I speaking can't... of giving back to society, mm. how have you given back, in your own opinion? Nee, I don't know. I don't give anything. I just do what I have to do. Yeah. You don't G give. What are you giving? You are here. Whatever you see you can do, do it. Don't, don't be, don't be, what are you looking, giving back, what are you giving back? You're already here. Do it. Stop trying to say, I want to give back. Who are you giving to? Mentoring and all Me. of that. Uh, as I'm sitting here, <laughs> to mentor them, I'm going to have to learn to understand it. Look, those are, those, are, those are the public, you see, those are the propagandas we need to identify. And they said, it's, did I call it propaganda? As long as the, the journalists don't misunderstand or misread exactly what I'm trying to say, there's something called gimmicks. And the gimmick would mean that you have to appear such and such in the society. No, I don't have that time for it. I go to Ajegunle, I love Ajegunle. We clean it up, we clean it. We don't clean it, it's our business. It's, our, it's we that we suffer it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm, I, I don't have to, uh, no, 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 no. I love these places. Can we revive some places when the, the streets of Ibutometa can actually look the same way? The post office, we don't even write letters anymore. When was the last time anybody wrote letters? Everybody's been texting. It's uh, antisocial. Where do you have right, my dear friend? Where have you been? What is the situation? No, it is texting now. And then there's the uh, Wi-Fi. All the Wi-Fi. Uh, if there's a Wi-Fi here, we just go. Uh, there's nobody communicates anymore. If you see me, if you take some pictures now, you see all of us looking down, doing this. What's that? Do we talk? No. Okay. Um, you're here, and your viewers are there watching, listening to you, knowing you for being very effervescent, hmm. you know. What is your home? Effervescent? Uh-huh. Yes, I like it. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Very lively. Yes. But I know your moments. You have your moments. Hmm. What are those things that grinds you? Is somebody asking those questions from far? Because I don't understand it, really. <laughs> First situation, I, I, I sort of gave us a picture of the, of the eye and non-existent of the eye. There is an eye factor that it has to be about me. There is another eye factor that it has to be about us. Now, that eye actually dies slowly. Over time, that eye is almost missing. You don't recognize the eye anymore. When you are doing stuff, it is in connection with the, the people. It's like finding a way to find people alongside that, not about yourself anymore. The job we do, entertainment is not about self. Entertainment is about the people. On a final note, on a final note, yes, uh, you are a veteran in the entertainment world. You have seen the different phases of uh, entertainment um, growth here in Nigeria. What are your takes? We're coming. We're still working on it. You never, never blame anybody. What kind of music people reel out Never, today? never feel bad. You, you need to understand. Do you understand that Nigeria now Because do when a Yinka, Yinka Davis is singing, I'm following her. I but some of the songs you hear and the lyrics and I everything, understand. what's going on? Never. It, Please, if, I'm asking if, you. If we don't do something about it, we will lose a lot of souls. First situation, the entire country is going through a lot of phase right now. That is a that people can sit down and listen to serious music. They need to enjoy themselves right now so they don't collapse. A lot of souls need to be revived. You don't understand. There's a, there's a senator in the office that is making everybody laugh. It's safer that I had to be told 
that if that man is not there, a lot of people will commit suicide. And it touched me. So now I can weigh this matter and I say, oh, okay, let that senator continue to talk so that people don't go and commit suicide. Over time, eventually, a lot of people underneath to be able to draw in the blueprint. Where is the original blueprint of the land? Let us revive this country, you see? Now, only those who are willing to support the building of the land w will come out. If they don't come out, it's nothing. Can we still do it? Those who are few, the selective few, as it were. So I don't have a problem. When the real music will come out, let it continue to do its own job. You do your underground work and continue. The ones that are keeping the people sane and eating popcorn and drinking Coca-Cola or something, that's fine. Let it continue. As long as they don't commit suicide, that's safer. You know, I've been meaning to ask you this question. You know, like, over the time, mm. you had some bad press and all of that, but somehow you came out strong. Yeah, because it's not your business. Huh? Let them be talking their own talk. Mm -hmm. You do your own talk. You How do you manage the press? You don't manage press. Who you want to manage press? Where you want to manage the... No, no. Are you not press? Uh -huh. Ah, guess close. Are you not there? Uh -huh. No, I'm not there. No, are you not Nigerian? Are you, you not the you press, know. international, media, social, we will... Uh, what kind, what we kind will. of pressing is different from that one now? Exactly. Uh -huh. So you can actually... Uh, you just have to blend with all. Even the one that they call it themselves bad press. So those ones, those bad press, how, does it affect you as a person? It doesn't. You need to understand who Jesus is. So when did you find Jesus? He found me first. <laughs> he found me. When was so, this? I, I'm trying to explain something to you. There is something about living in spite of every good and the bad thing staring at you in the face. Hmm. He was there in the Bible. Jesus witnessed a good confession. I must witness a good confession, whether the press is good or bad. If I don't understand it, it's not my fault. It was what was said, and I follow. And it doesn't disturb you? Nah. It doesn't get to you at all? Why should it? You know how bad it has broken homes? If the home does not trust you as a person, that's why you are very, it's very necessary for you to know who you are whose you are, who you serve, and then whenever everybody, if they don't like it, let them walk. When they walk, it's even safer for you. You, are, you have one less human being to worry about. If you worry about too many people, you just kaput. No be so, Nigeria. Eh. So now I will give you a minute to at least address your fans out there, those who haven't seen you in a while. Do your thing, do something, and just um, jazz them a bit. Oh, hi. My name is Jinka Davis. I'm five foot flat. I love Jesus. And I am grateful for who you are in my life, especially how you have, uh, you, you trust that I will present you or represent you with some sort of gusto. Thank you so much. God bless you. I pray you stay on top of every obstacle you find yourself in, in spite of it all, to still remain beautiful, remain smiling. Sing for them now. Which mm. one? Anyone. Mm. Mm. I love you. No one else will ever do. Always true, true, true. I'll forever be with you. Abby? I love you. No one's who would ever do. I'll always be good and true because I love you. you. I love your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I love your voice. Yes, it's thank, such you, thank you. Thank a you, pleasure thank you. having you on Saturday night. Thank I you. see your fine hands. Very small, but. See this woman where they talk. See her own finger too. Her own finger too fine. She look like her own. Not be brave she be. Can't they disgrace me? God. Mother, come on the program before we change our mind though. Thank you very much for this particular program. This is Saturday night. Reporting. She's Yuka signing. Davis said. See you she's, later. She's let, me, let, me, let me let me let me manicure it. Is it manicure? Manicure, <laughs> manicure all of them together. <laughs> And so on that note, we want to say thank you so much for staying tuned to this week's edition of Saturday Night. Until next week, like I'd only say, be kind to one another. Good night.